In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your big green egg so it's good to go for cooking. The first thing we need to do is get the egg opened up, remove the grate and the plate setter if it's in there so we can access the charcoal area below. The next thing I'm going to do is just get all this white ash, which is burnt charcoal. I'm just going to shake that out to the bottom. And if you have a grate instead of one of these baskets, you're just going to use your rake tool, scrape that back and forth across the grate just to get all the loose ash to drop down through the holes into the bottom area below. But I have this basket, so I gave it a shake and you can see all this white ash, which has collected along the sides and the bottom of the firebox. Once you have given either that basket a shake or raked the coals across the bottom of your grate, that is just about it for this level one of cleaning. The last thing you want to do is make sure that the air hole at the bottom of your egg, this is where the air intake comes in. Just make sure ash isn't blocking that hole. So once I have either this basket out of the way or I've moved the grate out of the way, I can just push that ash back. And if you don't want to have to take this out, you can actually come down to this air intake from the front side of your egg and use your rake to just sort of push the ash back make sure that air can still be drawn up through and towards burning coals. Level two cleaning is removing all the ash from the bottom of the egg. You can do this from the top with a scoop if you remove your basket or grate, or you can do it from the bottom air vent just with your rake. This is useful to do after every three or four cooks, especially if you notice a lot of ash has built up in the bottom or if you're finding you're having trouble getting up to temperature in a reasonable amount of time. Fire needs air to burn and too much ash down at the bottom will block fresh air getting up to your coals. If after scooping out as much as you can with your rake or your scoop, there is still some ash that you want to get rid of, or if it's springtime and you want to do a deeper clean of your egg, this is when you could do a level three clean. You can use a vacuum like a shop vac to get all the leftover ash out of the bottom. And you also want to look on the outside of this firing and fire box. Ash slowly starts to build up as it comes through these tiny little vent holes. And over the course of a year or lots of use, ash can start to fill up the sides of this outer wall, which can also block airflow. If you've already scooped or vacuumed out ash from the bottom part of your egg and are still having trouble getting high temps, especially with fresh charcoal, you need to remove the fire ring and firebox to get the rest of this ash out. The fire ring can be a bit tricky to get a grip on, but pull it out and set it down gently. Then for the firebox, if you reach down the front and stick your hand in the vent hole, it's the perfect spot for your hand to grab to pull it out. And as you can see, this isn't too bad, but there is a little bit of ash building up along the back wall of the egg from the holes in the firebox. And if left alone, it will eventually start coming up the walls of the egg and blocking air full. Grab your vacuum and clean all that out. Once you're done to put everything back in, start with the firebox and you want to put it back in with the air vent and the slit pointing forwards. The slit should match up with the middle of the sliding door on the front of your egg. And then next put the firing back in and center it so air can flow up around all sides of it. From here, you're good to put your bottom grate or basket back in, top it up with charcoal if you want, replace your grate and you're good to go.